This is RV Hacking on the Cheap with Gyro Gear Loose. Today we're going to be discussing installing your own RV power pedestal. Before we begin, a word of caution. Working on an electrical circuit can be dangerous. You may get yourself into trouble if you wire your circuit incorrectly. Do not consider the implications of your application or violate electrical code. For example, my installation is inside protected from the weather and includes an extra meter that is completely optional. One of the first considerations is whether to even bother making a 30 amp or 50 amp pedestal for your RV. If you only plan to keep your batteries charged, then a standard 12 gauge extension cord may suffice for that purpose, but do not try to run appliances inside the RV. I use my parked RV as an extension of the house for six months of the year as it's the closest bathroom and working sink, as well as a quiet workspace and man cave. This is the basic circuit we're going to create. At the breaker box, the ground wire and neutral wire connect to their respective buses, which are long strips with multiple screws, and the hot lead goes into the screw on the breaker. If you're doing a 30 amp circuit, it's a 30 amp one pole breaker, or 50 amp, you're using a double pole 50 amp breaker. The wire you should use in between the receptacle and breaker box is dependent on how far the wire has to travel and which amperage you are wiring. For 30 amp, you should use at least an 8 gauge wire with two connectors, a designated 8 2 wire. For 50 amp, you use 8 gauge wire with three connectors, designated 8 3. Because my run is considerably longer than normal, having to go through my shop, a breezeway, and the entire length of my house, I used 6 gauge wire to prevent significant voltage drop even at full load. The wire should be secured along its entire route, and then at the receptacle end, the wiring is as follows. Ground goes to the D-shaped prong at the top of the receptacle. On a 30 amp, hot will go to the low left facing the, the receptacle, and neutral goes to the low right prongs. On a 50 amp, your two hots, black and red, will go to each side connector, it doesn't matter if you reverse them, and neutral goes to the bottom connector. Remember that you are viewing the receptacle from the side you're plugging in here and not the back where you're doing the wiring. With all the wiring in place, energize the new breaker. If the breaker refuses to reset, then you have a short and you should find out why. Before victoriously plugging in your RV, stop and grab your voltmeter and test every pairing of wires on the receptacle. Match it to the above voltages, where you should find 120 volts between ground and hot, and between hot and neutral, and zero between ground and neutral. On the 50 amp, the two hots will hold 240 volts between them. You should not find 240 volts anywhere else on the receptacle. Only now that you have tested all of the voltages and found that they are correct, and because we wired the receptacle ourselves and did not pull any shenanigans, we can be reasonably confident that the receptacle is wired correctly. Go ahead and plug in your RV and enjoy. But wait, what if you were plugging into a receptacle that you didn't wire yourself? Tune into my next video to find out how to test someone else's pedestal to make sure they didn't intentionally or unintentionally wire the pedestal dangerously. This has been Gyro Gear Loose with RV Hacking on the Cheap. Thanks for watching. I hope the video has been informative. Be sure to watch my other videos and subscribe to my channel.